friends, happy Saturday. Today is July 1st and some of you that are, are writers may know that today is the first day of the Camp NaNoWriMo Summer Retreat. I know what some of you may be thinking. Caitlin, you tried to do Camp NaNoWriMo in April and you failed in the first week and a half. You're not wrong. Um, you're not. But there's no harm in trying again. So that is what I'm going to do. One of my goals for this summer was and is to work on my senior thesis. Um, I'll link the blog post below where I talked about my thesis and I actually shared my thesis proposal that I turned into my advisor. Oh, excuse me, but my senior thesis is a 30 page excerpt of a young adult novel. My only issue in this is I don't actually have the material to know what the 30 pages will be for that excerpt. So I'm writing the whole thing, you know, rather than listen to what my advisor said and just write the outline for it. I'm writing the book, the first draft at least, and then once I start to go through that I can decide where I want to actually claim the excerpt from. So a little bit about my thesis. My thesis is a prequel to a book that I've written. Um, it's not published not finished being edited but like I have been writing the world for a really long time so I have a very as I feel a fairly firm grasp on the concept of the world and even now as I'm writing new things come to me which is always really cool to have your world just keep growing and building and exploding so I am actually backtracking to the history of the current world and I'm sorry I don't know if you can hear it but people are weed whacking a child just screamed and someone's dog was working if I get for filming it's eight o'clock at night I don't know I don't have an excuse for them but ignore that I turned my fan off and it's really warm in here um but it's a going back to the beginning of how the society and the beliefs that were created were created and it's following a elf named Matron and his best friend and lover and later wife Serena as they discover and try to understand um, Matron's powers because he is the first elf in this history that has been able to control all five elements. He has been blessed by the god and the goddess and can control these elements. Um, part of my thesis is doing a lot of research into Wiccan um, because like I just said the god and the goddess is one of the basis, basis basis of Wiccan. So I'm doing a lot of research into that and learning so that I'm not just like okay let me just steal all these nuggets but to like understand it. Um, so part of it is there, the elven religion is very similar to that of Wiccan in, I don't want to say nature worshipping, but like understanding nature and how it works with your body and being in tune with it. But he has been granted with these powers to actually be able to control and wield nature. So he can use fire, he can pluck water from a river and create floating water orbs and things like that. So he and his, um, at the time of the going at first girlfriend, travel around the kingdom to understand his powers and just take time away from the society that's growing there. And they find these sort of, as I'm calling and using them, mechas, where his powers in each of the types of power is strongest. Um, 
So it's like understanding oneself through the magic and this stigma that comes with doing it, being the only one that can, and things like that. So I need to write that. I have 3,000 words written so far. A lot of my summer so far has been spent like just sitting and thinking about it and building up the story in my head. So it's been slow going at first, but um, my goal by the end of July is to have the first draft written, which is a very lofty goal. Um, so I'll have to write about 2,000 words a day. Um, I will be handwriting it just because I feel like while it will be a slower process, I will be able to articulate what I want to say more clearly at first, just because I can't just go back and delete it. So I have to really sit and think with it. And then um, what I would like to do would be daily or every other day or so write whatever I've written into a Word doc or a Scrivener or something like that, just so it's down so I have like an official word count. So yeah, what is my word count goal? My word count goal for this first draft is 65,000 words. It's more than I've done for a first draft ever, but the more I work through the story, the more I feel like it's there. Um, and I actually feel like at times this could be the story I publish first. So yeah, I expect to spend a while with this and I'm going to be spending four months when the school year starts on 30 pages. So I want a good draft by July 31st and if I don't reach the goal at least I will have attempted to write every day. Um, so this is the notebook that I got. It's just a spiral bound notebook that I got from Barnes and Nobles and it has all these like inspirational quotes all around it on the outside and then same thing for the cover page and then on the inside there are quotes I'm gonna skip too far there are quotes all along the tops and bottoms of the pages so like this one is 20 years from now you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do now than by the ones you did do so throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. H. Jackson Brown Jr. So there's a lot of different quotes and inspirational quotes which actually like at different times coincides with the themes that the character is facing because it's like overcoming the hardships of the society that's not really accepting of him and growing with it. So yeah, this is the notebook that I got. It is a Piccadilly notebook. Yes. Piccadilly, and they tell you to tag Piccadilly Inc. in your post for a chance to win monthly prizes. So, I like mice. I like notebooks. And this has actually been a really nice notebook. Um, it's not an overly big size, but it's not overly small. It fits in my work bag. So yeah, um, what else can I say about this project? Clearly it is fantasy. It's high fantasy. Um, it's a young adult section, genre, age group. Might be closer to new age. I'm not really sure how I feel about the term yet, just because some connotations of it. I don't know. What do you think of New Age fiction and the definition of it? Some of it's more just sort of like women's fiction where it's just understanding yourself and sexuality is some interpretations of it I've seen and I've seen books that could be considered New Age that have nothing to do with that. So I don't like to bind myself to such a title or age group. But yeah, um, I think I'm in a cabin. I haven't really checked yet. I kind of just set up my page and then said, cool. 
Um, I, yes, I am starting a project that I've already started, but with Camp NaNoWriMo I don't care as much, just because it's camp, not the actual thing. Um, I don't know if I will be doing regular NaNoWriMo this year. It would feel weird if I didn't, I will admit that. Um, my phone just fell. If I did, it would probably be editing the other books or editing a draft of this. My life is going to be spent with these books for the next few years. I know this. And I'm in love with the prospect of it. Um, just through working through this, I have completely rewritten a character in that book. And I can't wait to get back to her when I get through this, just because I know that after I discover who she truly is in this, she's going to be a much bigger part in that book, and I'm so excited for it. But I need to write this one first. So yeah. Are you doing Camp Nan NaNoWriMo? You should add me on there, and um, on regular NaNoWriMo, be my writing buddy. My name on Camp NaNoWriMo, my camp name is Lady Kate 100. Um, yeah, Lady Kate 100. That's what it is on the other one, too. And if you follow me on Twitter at the scripture and ting, I'm sure that I will be posting updates all the time. And at the scripture and 101. Just scripture in 101, sorry. On uh, Instagram, I will be doing posts about it, as well as what I'm reading. Yeah. I haven't filmed a really long time, so this is kind of weird, but I feel like this one went fairly well. Yeah. So I will see you next week with a writing update video. Don't know if it'll be like little weekly vlog things. I probably will feel it. Much, then all at once you were just enough You're just right, you're the perfect temp In my coffee cup, one of overslept You are complete, the final chord in the even beat You're the perfect rhyme, the perfect time Please can I make you mine?